uh, if you've ever read the book The Hungry Caterpillar, when they get bigger, they can really start chowing down on, on a wheat field and cause some, some even stand loss, especially when it's young like this. In the northern part of the county, people are just uh, planting and it's starting to come up. In the southern end of the county, there's more weed up and it's looking good. But it's starting, armyworms are starting in the other parts of the county. When the armyworms hit, you know, it's, it's cover the acres as fast as you can because, you know, in a, in a two-day period of time, your, your field can go backwards or even and be demolished in, in, by these little, you know, worms. And it seems like in the last four years, every, everybody that goes out and plants early seems to have to spray. But I feel like it's those moths really focus on those first fields and they really lay their eggs heavy in those fields and then you have infestations. And then as it progresses, you know, there's more fields, the moths spread out, and you have less of a problem. But the guys that plant the, the earliest, and, and around here, we're 90% grazed, you know, so everybody's chasing that early pasture, planting early. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of become a, the norm anymore for the early guys, just they're going to have to spray. Yeah, I, I've, had more, if, I've had more calls from farmers say, yeah, I saw the worms out there, they were really little, I didn't think much of them, and then I came back a few days later and it was like they're big and they're chewing down the crop. So it doesn't take long, especially when we have warm weather, for them to grow and, and uh, uh, be able to start consuming more of their food. You know, there's some fields that get treated and others don't. And so it's even more critical, I think, for uh, anybody, any grower to, to check their field and, and kind of regularly see what's going on because you know, from one field to the next, you may have a, a serious problem, and other fields you may not. This year, the the weather's warmer. The more the the worms are, are hatching in a longer period of time. They're not moving on, and next thing you know, it's a widespread problem. Well, that's one reason why we use airplanes. You know, and we contract through them because they can cover our acres way faster than a ground rig can. One of the things I always like to stress with a, with an army worm, they will on the last larva stage, their last molt before they turn into a pupae, they will eat 70 to 75 percent of all the green material they'll ever eat in their whole life as a caterpillar. So they can eat a lot in just a few days. And they can cycle through their whole life cycle in 20 days as a caterpillar. And um, you know, as it cools off, they're going to be slower growing, but they're still going to be out there eating the same amount of material. It can literally take the plants out so that they don't have anything. Um, and they just have to think about whether they want to harvest for grain, if they want to graze, it, that'll all come into play. But gosh, if you've already planted the field, why would you not want to, you know, protect your investment? And by the sounds of it, Amanda, producers really should be looking for, for army worms right now. When, when is it too late to, to replant from army worm damage? So it, that will depend on a on each case, on a, so that decision will have to be made on a field by field basis. Mm -hmm. So it depends on if a producer is aiming for a grain only system right. or forage. Um, so that will depend on the region and a lot of things. I know uh, last year uh, people got good yield, even planting very late or later than expected. And overall, how does the wheat crop look across the state right now? It's looking pretty good. So we are about halfway done with planting the variety trial. So we have been finding very good soil moisture and we've, we've seen farmers uh, planting now and also a lot of wheat that is already emerging and the fields are looking good. But that's also uh, draws our attention for the fall army worms. To, so farmers need to be out there and it starts to scout. scout. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking good, so. And it's important for producers, if they do have questions, to, to go ahead and get to their county office and, yes. and talk with the educators. Yes, we have several sources of, uh, that they can use for help. For sure, contact their uh, extension office. I have also posted things on our blog, for example, for the Fall Army Worms and our Twitter account. Um, so. Yeah, so they, they can go after the several helpful resources that OSU provide. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dr. Amanda Silva with Oklahoma State University. And for a link to those resources, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.